All right, this video is uh, on how to properly get into the back here on your Bridgeport milling machine. So um, right now I've got it in high speed, uh, so the back here is not engaged. What you're going to want to do uh, to engage this, for example, right now I'll turn it on. It's at the slowest speed in the high speed range, which is if you look on your uh, speed indicator, it's. Uh, 1320 RPMs. If I change this into the back here, this will be 160 RPMs. So, right now, I'm going to show you how to do that. You can take this uh, lever here and bring that forward. If it doesn't go right away, you can rotate the spindle manually by hand just a little bit to get that to go forward. So, again, um, you can follow this chart here. Uh, there's A and B. Um, you can just look at this, but it took me a while to figure this out. And I was running into an issue, which I'll go over here in a second. Um, so you move that forward, then you take this, which this is A, um, and you push that up, okay? And then you can rotate this manually via hand. And if you get up top of the machine, you'll see that the, the spindle is actually going the opposite direction as your lead screw at that point. So um, kind of interesting, but you'll notice that working. So I'm gonna turn this on now. And now we're going 160 RPMs. So that's it. Now to disengage, um, you do just the opposite, obviously. Once this thing's stopped, um, you can go ahead and disengage it here. If it doesn't come out, um, again, just rotate the spindle by hand. And now it's not engaged at all, it's just free spinning. Um, now I'm going to take this uh, A lever and bring it back to the front. Now, you don't want to turn the machine on yet. Uh, first you want to take and rotate the spindle by hand, you're going to hear a click. That click, now um, the pulley has dropped back down and it's back into high speed. But if you do this out of order or you don't do both, you're going to get a lot of grinding noises. If yours is grinding a bunch and you uh, you you sounds like gears are, are not engaging all the way and it's just sounding really horrible, probably what happened is this little tension screw here. I don't know what it's actually called, but um, there's a little flathead screw here. You need to tighten that inward. And if you're, you've got a lot of brake fade, um, it seems to adjust that somehow on this as well. So uh, just take and bring that in um, and that should fix your problem. Well, it did for me anyway. Um, so that's that. So hopefully that helps you and uh, yeah. Have a good day. Feel free to ask any questions if you've got them.